Hey guys, happy Wet Wednesday. So today we're going to talk about a pathogen that just recently came into the lab. And we are asking the question, what is causing leaf spots on my magnolia? So stay tuned for the answer. The symptoms of algal leaf spot include spots that are circular and blotchy and usually raised from the leaf surface. The spots affects not only the leaves, but can also affect the twig, branches, and fruits. And the edges of the spots may be wavy or feathered. The color varies from crusty gray-green to greenish-brown. And if the colonies are numerous, premature yellowing and loss of leaves can occur. The disease is favored by wet weather and plants that are already weakened by poor growing conditions. Sporangia, which are the asexually formed reproductive structures, develop during the summer and spores are dispersed by rain to develop new sporangia on new leaves. The plants that are most commonly affected by this pathogen tend to have leathery leaves, such as those found in camellias, magnolias, holly, Indian hawthorn, and several others. Here is a picture of the sporangia of algal leaf spot. Management practices include raking up fallen leaves, making sure plants have a good growing environment, and if the infection is severe enough, using copper fungicides. Wow, that was a ton of awesome information. Yeah, you know, Tracy, I actually used to hate algae, but after watching this video, it's starting to grow on me. Should probably get that checked on. So anyway, um, this Friday, two days from now, we have an awesome, 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 awesome video planned. You can see us in action in the lab, and you're going to love it. So make sure to tune in on Friday to see this video. Yes, definitely. Check us out.